I think most of us have our digital media files uh, on a lot of different computers in our home network, be it music, photos, or even video. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of, and I always worry about backing up as well. How do I make sure that I have all of those systems and all those files in a central backup that I can have access to if anything bad ever happens? Well, a lot of people are looking at home media servers now. This is the latest from HP. This is their home media server, their EX487. They've got a few different models uh, with different storage sizes, but essentially this is kind of a, a computer uh, that you plug right into your router. You don't plug in a screen or anything like that. It's got a computer processor in it, and it allows you to back up all the computers in your house and also to stream all the content from here to any device that's hooked to the network. You can see I've got four drive base. Right now I've got two of them uh, full with uh, hard drives. If I want to add additional ones, super easy. Just takes uh, regular SATA drives. You just plug them in here and stick them in and it automatically formats it and makes it ready for the home server to use. And that's the nice thing. It takes all the storage, whether it's internal hard drives or external ones you plug into the USB or eSATA ports and munches them all into one logical drive so it's easy to actually keep things organized. What's kind of cool about this is that it's expandable, not only internally, but it also has four USB ports and an eSATA port, so you can hook up external hard drives as well to really beef this thing up. Setting this thing up, you'll want to set a little bit of time aside. It'll take a full afternoon to get all the things uh, working. What you want to do is basically set up the connector software that it comes with on a CD on each computer in your house that you want backed up and to be able to see all the files on the server and its hard drives. And not only does it work with Windows, but it'll also work with any uh, Mac, any Apple computers that uh, you have. Although to set it up, you do have to set it up with a Windows machine. Once it's set up, you've got the home server console. Right now we're running it off of this particular computer, but any computer on the network that's uh, hooked up to it can actually bring this up and uh, tweak it. We can see we've got a couple drives in the unit right now. We can see that they're healthy. We also get a graphical representation of how much storage space is on there, how much is being used and how much is left. And when we talk about shared folders, these are all the different types of files and, and media files we're working with. On the left here, you can see I've got everything from music, photos, recorded TV, videos. I can even start adding ones, which I've done here as well, like converted videos and, and home video. And we can also go in and uh, check backups. So for example, here are two of the computers in this house are hooked up to this. The one upstairs uh, that we're using right now hasn't been backed up for seven days. If we want to, we can uh, do an automatic backup uh, right this second got all sorts of great features too. Besides the automatic backup of uh, both Windows and uh, Macintosh based computers, you can also share your media to any network connected device. And that could be like an Xbox 360 video game console, uh, an Apple TV, a Windows Media Center, or any laptop or PC for that matter. We want to share our photos. Well, this has got uh, built-in photo sharing. We can actually upload all of our photos to a personal, private, password-protected site that our friends and family can access. It's got a built-in server for iTunes, so you can use this to be your iTunes server. So any device in your network in your house, whether that's a video game console or a computer, Apple TV box for that matter, they can actually stream and get all of their songs on this one device. They don't have to go searching on all the different computers. What I like too is the ability to actually convert videos. A lot of us have the little portable media players now, whether that's an iPhone, an iPod, even a PSP. What you can do is tell what folders on here, maybe you've ripped a bunch of your DVDs, it'll automatically convert them down to an iPod format for you in the background. You don't even have to do anything so that all of your video is ready for you to take on a mobile device whenever you want. And if you want to take things to the next level, you even can uh, set up server online backup systems as well. So you can even back this up to an online service like Amazon. It's called the Media Smart Home Server from HP. It's their EX487. If you want to consolidate all your digital media files so it's easy to make sure that they're backed up and to be able to share them to all the devices in your network, you'll want to have a look at this.